little Candace Kitty and I welcome you back to my journey. I had the RNY gastric bypass surgery on June 25th, 2018. So this is my 11 week post-op update. Last week I drew a winner to my $100 giveaway and um, had a lot of participants, so much fun. And if you didn't win, not to worry because I am going to go ahead and do some more giveaways in the future. Um, my son was sure to tell me that it was a bit cringy, especially with the like confetti string like pop coming down, but that's my job to be cringy, to be a little corny, uh, to embarrass him, and um, it was fun. So thanks again for all those who participated. So my current stats, let's get right into that. Um, I am five, five foot six. I started my journey at 238 pounds. Um, last week I came to you and I weighed 196. And believe it or not, this is cray cray. Today I weighed in at 191 pounds. I was shocked. I was so shocked. That's five pounds. That's five freaking pounds I lost in the last week. Insane. So, so happy about that. I mean, seriously, awesome. <laughs> I'm so thrilled. So um, I am getting really, really close to my goal, my first goal of losing 50 pounds total. Um, once I hit 188, I'll be 50 pounds down. Right now I am 47 pounds down. And 47 pounds is a lot of weight. I didn't really realize it until Sleep Girl 2018 mentioned something in one of her videos. She was like, I don't think I could lift, you know, like a 49 pound bag of something. Like that'd be too crazy. So I kind of looked a little around my house and um, check this out. This is what 47 pounds equals. I mean, it's like, it's a lot. So 47 pounds equals one huge tub, this is so heavy, of Tidy Cat's 35 pounds litter, plus the amount of one of my big fluffy ragdoll cats, Romeo is 10 pounds, plus 10 cans of cat food. Crazy, right? Crazy. I mean, I can just, I could barely even lift that 35 pounds of cat litter. I always have my son help me out with that. Um, so 47 pounds a lot. I'm really close to that 50 pound loss. Um, I, after I hit 188, my 50 pounds, my next goal is going to be super short right after that. And I want to get to 185 because 185 will mean that I am out of the obese category and into overweight. Woohoo! <laughs> so, um, anyway, when I got to work um, earlier this week, uh, my coworker on Monday, on she was like, oh my God, girl, did you lose like 20 pounds this weekend? You know, we had the long weekend. And I was like, no, but thank you. Thank you for noticing. So people are starting to notice now. Um, I did take um, the long weekend and I took uh, on Monday, Labor Day, I um, spent the time cleaning out my closet. And it was that daunting task that I just hadn't wanted to approach. Um, I had a hallway closet full and full of bins of clothes. And then I knew that my closet had a lot of sizes that were just kind of getting baggy and just not very attractive anymore on me. So what I did is I took all of my bins and I pulled out anything that was fall and winter clothes in size 14 and 12. So I am in 14s now and I'm super comfortable in 14s now. So I'm sure the 12s are right around the corner. So I took all 14s, all 12s, 
and only fall and winter and I filled my closet and I took everything else out of there pretty much and I ended up bagging up 16 bags of the tall black like dumpster trash bags um, 16 of them to give away to the Goodwill um, I it literally took me all day on Monday to go through my closet and to go through my all my bins I it's crazy how every article and piece of clothing has a story to tell I mean your clothes are just totally tied to memories and um, I found a tank top that I wore to my son's very first birthday party um, I came across my wedding dress. I came across bridesmaid dresses um, to both of my sister's weddings and my best friend's wedding. Um, I came across um, the dress that I purchased specifically for my daughter's first birthday party. Um, I found um, the shorts and the little red shirt that I wore to my very first half marathon that I ran 12 years ago. I found dresses that I purchased specifically for Mexico and other travels and trips around the US. Um, it was insane how many memories came into my mind with each article of clothing. And it got to the point where I actually fell down to my knees, I'm not kidding you, and I sobbed. I sat there and I just sobbed because I was just flooded with so many, you know, mem good memories and um, a lot of just filled with nostalgia and um, happiness and sadness all at once. And um, so anyway, I think it was a good time for me to just purge, clean out and get rid of everything pretty much. I did box up a few boxes and I kept, um, I had a lot of size eights. Um, so I have that to kind of look forward to down the road and um, I uh, boxed up all the medium tops and the smaller like running clothes and I found sizes seriously from size 2 as small as a 2 all the way to 20 so it's insane how my weight has gone I mean just like all over the board over the years it's it's insane and I think part of that moment of just like feeling out all those emotions and crying out was also like gosh like you have you have put your body through so much over the years and you have been through so much and you've gone up and down and up and down over and over and over again and I I think I was you know I was sad that I had put my body through that but at the same time happy that I feel like I found the solution now and that I am, you know, making efforts to a really healthy lifestyle of maintenance. Um, so anyway, um, I did get one box, um, one, one bag I put together and it was, it didn't have a ton, but it was um, a few items that still had tags on the clothes that I knew I wasn't going to wear. And um, they were all like four to five years old and better brand clothing. And I bagged them up and I shipped them off to Thread Up. I've never tried it again. So if you have, comment down below and let me know your experience. So I'm gonna see if I get, you know, a little bit money back. But for the most part, I just took all 16 bags of clothes and my car was stuffed the brim and I took it all to the Goodwill. Um, I, in, in, in some of those bags, I mean, it was, there were clothes that potentially I could get back into at some point, but oh my gosh, the styles have changed. Like, I mean, come on, how long have us women been wearing skinny jeans now? For a long time, and I don't see that changing anytime real soon in the future, so I got rid of those, all those ugly, like, boot cut jeans and um, flared pants and stuff and um, I did keep a couple like dressy wide leg pants because I think those are still um, kind of sexy so anyway um, in terms of kind of my eating this week pretty much eating the same that I did last week um, still can't believe I lost five pounds I mean insane I did last week I felt like I had a lot of cheese and um, I usually do have cheese daily but I think I was having like 
a little bit more than usual. Like I would have maybe some with my lunch, some with my dinner, and maybe even like um, a little baby bell cheese like with my protein shakes. So I was having a lot of cheese last week, I love it. And so I kind of cut, cut down on that a little bit. And I think that in combination with my running, I mean, I have felt so much energy this week, insane, because I am following a schedule that I put together in Excel on working up towards a half marathon. And I will see if I can do it, but my goal is to run the half marathon um, the Kansas City Half Marathon. I've done it several times. I've done the full before and um, it's on October 20th. So we'll see here. I think I've just got like six weeks left, but I did run my longest long run this morning and it felt really good. Um, I think I could have gone further, but I did do six and a half miles this morning and I was super proud of that. I'm slow, all right? I am super, super slow, but that doesn't matter. You know, as long as you're moving and you're moving forward, that's all that matters. Um, I did on one of my morning runs during the week this week, um, I was running back, like back down the hill towards my home and there's this older Chinese guy that lives in my neighborhood and we pass each other often in the mornings and we have, I've lived in my home for, um, like 12 years, like 12 years, I think. And um, he's lived here just as long in the neighborhood. And over the years, you know, we always see each other in the mornings and we always just do a quiet, like little, you know, wave. And he, I know he doesn't speak much English at all, but um, he's been seeing me in the mornings, you know, over the course of the last couple months, walking and walking every time and we wave or do, do our little hello. And um, I was coming down the hill the other day and I was um, had a pretty good stride at that point. And he looked over at me and instead of our, you know, the little wave, like I got ready to go wave to him and he goes like this. He's like, yes. <laughs> and I was so happy. I mean, I just felt, felt so good because he was noticing. He was noticing that it was like, girl, you're back. You're back. You're back to running again. And so anyway, that made me feel really good. Um, so again, um, just the, the um, extra exercise has really helped make me feel um, a lot more energetic. It's really been really exhilarating all week. And um, that's about all for this update. So thanks for following my journey. Be sure to like, subscribe if you're new, um, hit that little bell button. I just recently did that for everyone that I'm following because I was missing, missing new videos. So hit that little bell button so you get the notifications. And I'll leave you with this. So all this closed talk, I'll leave you with a cringy little quote. And that is, you are never fully dressed without a smile.